KBO electric bike. What up YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video and I've been getting a lot of requests. Jermaine, go ahead and make a review video about your electric bike. I haven't even had this bike for a week. Um, so I thought I would just talk about it. I really can't make like a really in-depth review because once again, like I haven't had it that long. But I've got so many comments talking about make a review video talking about the bike. So I thought I would just talk about things I like about it things that pointed me into the direction of this bike and let's just get right into it so first off the main reason why i like this bike main selling reason is the rubber chain it's the rubber chain i am a huge fan of rubber chains they're really really quiet they last a really long time yeah um on my other electric bike i had metal chain on my bike you can go about 2,000 miles and you have to replace the metal chain 2,000 miles on a bike is is, is quite a distance these last a whole lot longer than 2,000 miles. I've heard of stories of like 10,000 or 20,000 miles per rubber chain. And that's a lot of miles on a bike. 20,000 miles on a bike, that's quite a bit of miles. So um, yeah, I think rubber chains passed my test. Also, they're a whole lot quieter. Um, you don't have to worry about like um, all the, 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 um, the rust that would go from a chain and you have to like oil up the chain. You don't have to worry about getting your pants leg stuck in this because I, I don't know if you guys have ever had that happen before where you have your have a pair of jeans on and they get stuck in the chain and then it rips a hole in the jeans and it just makes the jeans look really bad at the bottom always on you know this side <laughs> so uh yeah you don't have to worry about that with these rubber chains it's this bike is really light now i'm used to electric bikes like heavy electric bikes when i say heavy electric bikes i'm talking about over 80 pounds or something like that but this one here weighs about 36 pounds which is super nice also i haven't had i don't have any customizations on this bike there's no locks there's no chains um i do have a set of fenders i haven't installed the fenders because right now we are going into spring slash summer so it doesn't rain as much in the spring and summer versus like fall and winter so I'm not gonna put the fenders on as of now just because you know the weather's good and it also makes the bike look a little look a little bit different without fenders. I kinda like it without the fenders. It looks a little a little it looks a little cool. Looks a little cool. The battery is right here. The battery is completely concealed inside. You can't easily remove the battery. There's a a lot of other electric bikes you can like pop off the battery to easily charge it or pop off the battery to switch it. This one is a little bit different. Like, I'm pretty sure you can take the battery out, but it's not like an easy process. You would probably have to take it out from the bottom and you'd probably need some tools. And it's not something that, you know, you would you would quickly do. It's something that you would probably do if you're trying to replace the battery. Um, the screen here does have a little screen. The screen is very simple to use. Um, another thing about this bike I must point out if you're paying attention to the handlebars, you may notice, uh, huh, handlebars look a little plain. You may wonder where's the throttle. Well, this bike does not have a throttle. This bike is pedal assist only. Yes, I'm gonna repeat that again. This bike is pedal assist only. So there is no throttle. And if you don't know what pedal assist is, have you ever rented one of the, the like electric bikes around the city, like the Ford Go Bikes or the City Go Bikes in New York or the Santana Bikes in London? All those bikes are like pedal, pedal assist. So you have to pedal to get to get some electric, you know, to help you help, help you go. It does have three modes. This, this is mode three, which I always keep it in mode three. And there's mode zero, mode one, which I've never used mode one. There's mode two, which I've never used mode two either. Mode three, the bike lives on, on mode three. It also has a light, a light here on the front, which is pretty cool. Um, there is a reflector that goes on the back, but I haven't installed a reflector yet. But yeah, it does come with a reflector that goes on the back. Another thing with this, it comes with these like latches, these quick, easy latches. These are really great if you are the type of person that ride your bike on the weekends if you're the type of person that you know you you just ride your bike on the weekends and you don't lock your bike up these are okay but totally fine um it, it also has this quick release on the front once again if you're the type of person that you ride your bike on the weekends and you don't lock your bike up this is pretty much okay 
If you're the type of person that rides your bike in the city and locks your bike up in the city and leaves it on the street at a bike at a bike um, a bike lock location, I would recommend that you switch these out and um, not get the quick release. I'd recommend you switch these out and you would just get the the ones with the pin lock. So that way, when you lock your bike up on the street, a dishonest person couldn't just just walk up pop this open and walk away with your seat in less than two seconds same thing with your front wheels um, once again it will just stop a dishonest person from just walking up popping this off and taking the wheel and walking away so um, as of now how I'm riding the bike I'm riding the bike as um, sort of um, sort of an adventure bike it's not a delivery bike for me my delivery bikes you know I have a big lock on those I have extra security for the batteries and stuff like that this bike is more of a commuter bike there is no big locks on the bike there is no big baskets there's not a lot of there's, there's well there's no extra layer of security on this bike because this is not a bike that i you know plan to leave outside and lock up or at least for now as i'm riding it so um it, it it's it's pretty cool it's pretty light I'm, I'm really loving the lightness on this bike um what about the mileage people have asked about the mileage now one interesting thing about electric bikes, when you talk about mileage on electric bikes, it can vary a lot. Like, it can vary a lot. There's a lot of factors to the mileage. One factor to the mileage on an electric bike is wind, okay? If, if, if Is it windy or is it not? Is it one mile per hour winds or is it 10 mile per hour winds? That's gonna make a big difference on the range of the battery. It's just the wind itself. And not only just wind, hills. You know, definitely in San Francisco, we have a lot of hills. And guess what, guys? I'm just not really riding this bike up all the big hills in the city. Um, just because it, it, it's, it's a regular, typical bike. And, you know, I'm just not going up like every day up the, the biggest hills. Usually when I take this bike out, I sort of have, you know, a route planned. And I want to go here. I want to go there. Maybe I jump on the front of the bus with the bike. Because that's another cool thing about this bike. There's some other bikes. This bike has uh, these smaller tires, which I could put this bike on the front of the bus and you know go up a big hill or put the bike on the front of the bus and go to treasure island and then cycle from treasure island over to oakland so i do like the fact that i can you know put, put it on the bus with the smaller wheels so what do i think about the bike overall well first off i think the bike is a really really good deal for the price for the price and what you get so this bike averages about uh, eleven hundred dollars or 10.99 and for 10.99 what you get is you definitely get a pretty decent bike here this could definitely be used as a delivery bike you can definitely add you know baskets to the front make it a little bit heavier you, you could it could definitely be used that way it can be used for a weekend cruiser bike it can be used for a, you know just a different bike to have around like i said i like the whole you know the the chain feature and i also like um yeah just just the chain feature is a huge feature for me i also like how the brakes are very simple so the brakes on this bike the brakes is uh pretty simple to maintenance yourself we got um this, this is a cable connection so there's no oil connection i wasn't a fan of the oil connection brakes but now i am a fan of the oil connection brakes however this is not oil connection but that's cool because by this not being oil connection, I can fix this myself. Like I don't need any extra tools. Like I can fix all of this myself. Um, you got the pads here. They're pretty, really, really easy to replace. Just pull out this pin after you, you know, take the, you know, take this part off. You, you pull out these pins. You replace the, the brakes. Super simple. Super simple. And um, yeah, that's it. This is the bike. This is the charger here. There is no key with the bike, which is. Um, kind of cool when i was unboxing it i was looking for a key just to see like oh yeah there's you know uh, what does it look like there's no key the bike just comes on yeah it, it, it just comes on so uh, there's no way to really cut it off you can cut it off with this part but basically the bike's just on and it's on it's ready to go so once you get on it you can just ride it like normal or you can get on you can fire it up and once you cut it on, you can um, change the mode, mode one, mode two, mode three, and then you can get ready to ride out. Now back with the battery range, I kind of stopped with the battery range. I got a little distracted with someone walking behind me here. So the battery range, I want to say you can get about 45 miles 
I've ranged with, with this bike. I haven't rode it down to 45 miles yet. Um, like I said, I've had this bike for about a week and we've had some really windy days. So I haven't had the chance to really ride it out and just see just how far I can go on it. Something else to point out about this bike. I don't think this um, keeps track of your mileage. So I have a couple other electric bikes in the throttle or this thing, the screen, it keeps track of the mileage. So you can, you'll know, oh yeah, I got 300 miles on this bike. I got 2000 miles on this bike. This doesn't keep track. Um, I really wish it would keep track because I, I would love to make a review video like, you know, KBO after 250 miles, KBO after a thousand miles. Like I would love to make review videos like that about this bike, but there's, it doesn't keep track of the mileage. So that's something else to throw out there. And uh, yeah, about 45 miles of range is what, what I've been hearing a lot. Um, and once again, I really haven't fully tested that out because like I say, it's been really windy and stuff like that but i have ran the battery down to at least one bar which is pretty close but whenever i'm riding an electric bike and i run a bike down to one bar i never say it's one bar i say one two right if i run the bike down if it has five bars and i run it down from five to three i don't say it has three bars i say it has three four bars right so that's kind of how I, I i play it out but i'll definitely make more review videos talking about this bike after i've had it a little bit longer but just just recently i've been been getting a lot of comments and i did a one-on-one -on -one session with a subscriber yesterday and that subscriber wanted to know so much about this bike and i thought yo i just need to go ahead and just make a little mini video talking about this bike talking about some of the features talking about some of the cool perks and quirks of this one but anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this video up thanks a lot for watching like comment subscribe peace out yo happy cycling